Blessings and blessings. Oh, oh. Welcome, family. Today's transmission is how to get your needs met in a relationship without offending your partner. Now, uh, I want to start by prefacing that in our language, we invent people. In the way that we speak about the world, ourselves, our partner, we invent how they can show up. Because if we're linguistically, if we're talking about them in a particular way, our reticular activating system in our brain, which is a fancy way of saying, when, when we speak about something, uh, our brain begins to filter in things that match that thing. So no matter what's happening, your brain will sort of delete or distort certain information only to see what you've been speaking about and thinking about that particular person or situation. And so, you know, we get in relationships primarily because there's, there's an urge Right? There's an urge to merge. There's an urge to come together. There's an urge to experience life and beingness itself with another. And it's so beautiful, right? Sexually, mentally, physically, all of these things, spiritually, it's beautiful to come together. However, we have maybe not necessarily been taught some of the fundamentals of how to make a relationship thrive, how to be with another partner when they are not necessarily meeting the standards and boundaries from which we have concocted in our own heads. So I want to open up this conversation and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this video is not about necessarily finishing we're just getting started in this video about sharing and listening and being present with our partners in a way that creates an opening instead of a closing. Now, I have recognized in some of my coaching clients and uh, people that I've had conversations with uh, that there's this thing that happens when, when our needs are not being met where we project onto our partners. We project that it is our partner's fault that we are not experiencing a certain thing. And we want to take the languaging of fault out of our language. We want to, we want to take that out of not just our language, but out of our, our, like, our bodies. This blaming, this faulting, this you're supposed to make me feel a certain way mentality in our relationships and understand that it is an organism. Relationships are an organism. They are always moving, evolving, shifting, and changing day by day, moment by moment. And so we get caught up in our history thinking about what they didn't do or what they should have done or that thing they did five years ago or five minutes ago that is causing us to not have our needs met. And quite plainly, if, if you want to help your partner help you get your needs met, one of the best things you could do is speak to what you're needing from the affirmative. And what I mean by that is, let's say you are somebody who's really high on physical touch. You like for people to rub your shoulders and kiss you and caress your face and things like that. And your partner hasn't been doing it according to your paradigm, according to your worldview, according to how you've mm, held the relationship in the last couple weeks or couple months or couple years. Depends on how you're using this. Instead of you saying, hey, can I talk to you? I really want to talk to you about how you're not showing up and you're not doing A, B, and C, and you're not touching me the way you should be, and you're not. You see, at that moment, there is not much space for a person, you know, uh, to do anything other than defend. Because to them, and their own personal worldview, and the way that they, they hold uh, your relationship, they may be doing that plus 10. And they're not wrong, 
and neither are you. However, if you want to create possibility, if you want to create openings in your relationship, one of the best things you could do is speak from the affirmative. So what that would sound like and look like would be like this. Hey, Susie, Ted, um, you know, I want to spend more time like snuggling. Is there any way we could do that more this week, tonight? Like, I, I really love like the way you touch me. And I love being nuzzled in and, and snuggled up around you. And I, I really just love to, to like experience more of that with you. That's, you know, one of the things that had me fall in love with you. And I think that we've just kind of gotten off track and I just want to get back to that. Do you see the difference? Do you see the distinction? Do you see the space for Ted or Susie to step in that and go, of course, of course, my love, let's do it. Come here, give me a hug right now. Because the latter is, we've taken the blame off of it. We've talk, taken the faulting out of it. And we've just been present with what is in this now moment. I, you know, I'd like to experience more, more, more touch with you. That's beautiful. So um, I'm gonna leave it there for right now. I'm gonna leave you in that. Please comment below if you received any value from this video and uh, also share it or tag your partners in it. Um, relationships are not the easiest thing to navigate and for those of you in them, and this could be a relationship with your cousin or your, you know, your, your business partner, relationships, you know, in general, but romantic relationships especially can be really tricky to navigate. So uh, from my heart to yours, I see you. Uh, blessings and blessings, family. I love you so much. Vibes, vibes, vibes is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love. Yep, be love.